Premier Dewar, what did you think of Jim Treller's comments yesterday? Well, he's a returning agent who was dealt with by elections in Manitoba. What do you think of his uh, suggestion that his, his election return was, even though his name was on it, it was changed by the Central Party? Well, knowledge. it's in the report, page 17, tabled in the legislature in December of 2004, before the Legislative Committee in the uh, same month, uh, again, before the committee, including last July when you were there. Uh, the whole issue of the reports, uh, the statements were amended, yes. Why did your party change uh, Greg Selinger's return against, uh, without his knowledge? We did, everything was done uh, with the uh, cooperation of Elections Manitoba. There was a dispute on the, first of all, the Tories outspent us in 99, so I want to make it clear that we had a level playing field for the election. Point number two, uh, we, uh, uh, we filed uh, the, uh, the Elections Manitoba did not concur with our auditor's uh, legal opinion and, and our lawyer's legal opinion. Uh, my advice was to cooperate with Elections Manitoba. That's what we did, well, and uh, the statements were amended. But why did your party change Greg Selinger's return without his knowledge? The, all returning officers were involved, otherwise they couldn't have been refiled. But your finance minister says he didn't know his well, return Well, I'm, I'm only changed. speaking about... So why did your party change without Elections his knowledge? Elections Manitoba worked with the returning officers, all 13. And so that's in the report. So you that's don't want to answer that question? It's fairly, well, it's fairly straightforward question. Well, except that the returning officer would be the ones filing the report for Concordia. Uh, the returning officer would be the one filing the report for Thompson. The returning officer would be filing the report for St. John's. That's how it works. But did you know in 99 that, that this was going on? I found out about it uh, a couple of years later. Uh, and uh, the, I, the advice I had, some people were advising us that we had followed the law and we should allow it to go to court. My view was uh, that we should cooperate with Elections Manitoba. Uh, we did. Uh, we didn't think it materially changed the election in the sense that in 99 the Tories had spent us. So this did not materially change. Uh, we didn't exceed any spending limits. Uh, and uh, we wanted to turn the page on union and corporate donations, and we did. So, uh, uh, Minister St. Andrew said that in 03, when he learned about this, there was a meeting, he was furious. You were never furious about that? Listen, when you file a report, an election document, and it's accepted by Elections Manitoba, you're pleased. When Elections Manitoba finds difficulty with it, you're challenged, and you obviously have to deal with the issues. Do you go to, if your own people say, well, we think we filed it correctly, we should go to court, uh, you have another option of trying to work with Elections Manitoba. That's what we chose to do, and I, I take, uh, re I recommended strongly we cooperate fully with Elections Manitoba. But, but Selinger was furious that? with, with, well, with I how it was changed. You're not furious about that? You don't share his fury over that? The When a document, when when a report is filed and accepted, I'm, you know, I'm pleased. When a report is filed and uh, challenged by Elections Manitoba, uh, it obviously concerns me. That's why we agreed to cooperate. Yes? The, the, for me, the real issue is I mean, is I wouldn't have... Uh, and I want to come back to the point about the report being filed in the House because I've read some of these issues. It was filed in the legislature by the Speaker in December of 2004. But nothing in that report tells us that Greg Selinger's return was changed against without his knowledge. It names, I read the report. Yeah, it, it oh. names Greg Selinger. Yeah, but report. it doesn't say anything about there that it being that it was changed without his knowledge or the candidate. It was. It says it was re amended with the returning officers, which is it what never said anything about well, returning why, officers if, not if, knowing, like Jim Treller, not knowing that the well, that, you, the, that the campaign expense was well, changed. Let, Treller says he didn't know that that. Report says nothing about that. Well, it does say that the. I've read it. Yeah, it does say that a report was filed and the report was amended. We accept that uh, responsibility. Yeah, but but, but, but several but, several steps back yeah. though. The argument is is that official agents who are liable, who have to sign things and are no, liable, hold it, hold, and can go let to me, court. Let me. I made. They the, didn't know that their their returns had no, changed. How do you know they? There was a meeting, uh, the uh, with uh, the uh, official agents with the party. Uh, if uh, anybody, uh, all of them had to concur with the advice to cooperate with Elections of Manitoba, and they did. What did you think when you heard that Selinger asked for a letter from your party uh, Listen, all, to make it clear when, that when he had you, nothing to do with this wrongdoing? The, the party was following the advice they had. Uh, Elections of Manitoba said in the filing that that was wrong. Uh, do we like to be wrong? No, we don't like to be wrong. Uh, what do we do about it? We could, some of our lawyers and our auditors thought that we were right. Uh, that option then leads to court. 
Uh, I thought uh, that we had changed the Elections Manitoba laws to make prohibit union and corporate donations. I thought we should turn the page uh, for the purposes of democracy. Uh, but we, I had no, uh, except for the issue of cooperating with Elections Manitoba, I think that was the right to say. But, but Premier, you know, how do you feel about this? You know, Mr. Trudeau tells us that at the meeting you were told sign here and the problem will go away. No, this no, is, no. This is how you deal with, with well, this Well, I'm not going to speak that way. We did not, uh, you know, the bottom line is people have, the situation was pointed out to the returning officers and they had the option of signing or not signing. I believe all of them did sign. How long has this been going on in your party, where you where you use this uh, this kind of scheme, well, where, only, you, where you, where you count a donation as, a, as an expense? Because Mr. Selinger says it's been going on for an extended period of time. How far back does it go? I mean, was this going on in the poly years? The uh, Elections Manitoba reviews every one of our financial statements. It verifies every one of the financial statements. It, it, it verifies the fact that they're following the law. And every, uh, up until 1999, uh, well, actually, a couple of years later, uh, they had a uh, they had a different uh, view of it, and that's what we took. Who changed the statements? I don't know. I mean, I was they were changed with the uh, uh, you know the party cooperative with Elections Manitoba. No, who changed the original statements followed by the official agents, where the, everything was in the right column? Well, there's expenditures. There's never been an issue of how this has been accounted for. There's been the issue of the application for the rebate. The issue of expenditures and uh, uh, revenue are properly in different columns. We usually have expenditures and revenues in different columns. That's not been an issue.